Hi, I'm Crazy Rotonix. In today's video, you will learn about. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I will have to replace you. Uh, what do you mean? You're outdated. Outdated. Ah, how funny. Okay, well, I still need you for one thing. I don't want to watch a gacha life Yautaba explain it to me, Rotonix. Okay, this one is very funny. Explain how the illustrations have been created. Yes, it's not a bad idea. Know that I did not create the illustration. So okay, how this illustration, this is the person who create them. More precisely, she designed all the assets. Then I use the app Ibis Paint to create all possible expressions. I don't see any gacha life here. That's exact. Hello everyone and welcome for this part 4 of Flood Escape 2 Maps tutorial. It's been a while, I know, but now this video is sponsorized by Aha Prank. So the first thing I'll be covering in this video is the settings folder of your map. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom rescue. You'll see, it's pretty easy. Anyways, we don't lose any seconds, so let's start. In the first part of this video, I'll introduce you to everything you need to know about the settings folder. Anyways, let's start. We start with creator. You can find it in the settings folders, now just put your username. If you made a collaboration map, don't forget to add those who have collaborated with you. In the latest version of Floodscape Comedy Map, the one who own the map model will be the only one display during the loading screen. I need I need to point out that you can easily rename the name of the model of your map. The map will not break, even if the model name is different than the one in the event string. Do not rename the value, okay? Just don't do it. If you accidentally rename it, set the name back to map name. Next up is the value called difficulty. This is a number value and it goes from 1 to 6. So you cannot type for example easy because it's only numbers. So basically by default the max time is set to 90. I recommend you to set it at least to 120. Yep. Of course we'll talk about seconds. This is equal to 2 minutes. Okay, I don't think I have to precise this. I hope. <laughs> if I'm not saying bullshit, the maximum time you can set is 6 minutes. Your map need music to make it more fun. So is there three kind of BGM? Okay, it's my own list, but I consider is there three kind of BGM. First of all, we have the in-game BGM. Yeah, it's like it said, Close Desert, Wild Savannah, Action Volumetric Mind. Wait, what? Otherwise, you can find even more music on the Roblox catalog. After choosing a audio, you copy the ID. Now insert here. The third type is the custom BGM. You need Discord for this. Select your MP3 file. Anyways, now you wait. Now copy the file link. Then you paste in the bar. Yeah. You have to copy the first group of number. Now you copy it. Then go at the beginning of your link. Now paste in the bottom bar. Add a underscore between the group number and the HTTPS. Now you have to copy one more time. You can delete the BGM value, add a string value, then rename it with the same name. It's very important. That's all. Make sure you don't select any object of your map. I'm saying this because I'm almost sure no one will want this in their image. Okay, take a screenshot of your map. Personally, I use the Windows Capture tool because I'm a boomer. This following information is crucial. The image size must be a square with exactly 400 pixels on each side. It's extremely important. Otherwise, your image may not work at all. You don't want this, right? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to resize it. Go on the website called Canva. Here you can set the size of your Canva. For the size, remember it's 400 pixels on each side. After creating your Canva, the next step will be to insert your image. Export your image. Click on download. Click on download. Okay, back on studio. You have to add a part. Now get in your image in the toolbox, of course. Add a decal inside your part. Now go in the properties of your decal. Then click here. Choose file search for your image, then now you click on create. If you have followed all this step, your image must have appeared on the part. Make sure to put this part inside the geometry folder, I mean like this. Otherwise, your image won't load during the loading screen. Now double click on your map part, now just select these numbers, the rest is not important. Now go back in the settings folder, click on map image, paste the ID inside this box, that's it guys. 
Alright, we're done with the settings. I've covered a third of what I want to teach you in this video. So now we can move on the second part of this video. Listen carefully, I'll show you how to add a custom rescue. Wait, I wonder, I'm the first to do a tutorial about custom rescue? Mm, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, you need a dummy. Use a plugin or simply look for one in the toolbar. Also, make sure to choose the R6 one. You place your dummy where you want, it doesn't matter. Delete the thing called humanoid root part. Don't ask questions, just do it. Add pens to your dummy. Don't forget your shirt too. If you want to change the color of your rescue, add the object called body colors. It allow you to change the color of your dummy body parts. So my rescue will be gray. Very nice. Now guys, if you want to get accessories, it's easy. Open the command bar. You will find the following command in the description. The next step is searching for accessories in the Roblox catalog. I think you know how. Mm. When you found the ID of your accessory, paste it right here. Then press on enter. Looks for a model inside the workspace. When you find it, press on F to teleport near it. You have now to take your accessory and now place it inside your dummy. Your accessory may be where it plays. It's normal, don't worry. You can place it any way you like. Wait, I have to change the color of the rest of the body parts. I just forgot. Nice. Okay, next is adding clots. Same. Search in the Roblox catalog. You will need, of course, the ID. After that, you paste here, of course. Good. Now I'm looking for a t-shirt. I take a random, anyways. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I just had some hairs. What? <laughs> if you want to fix this funny issue, just resize the hairs. Yeah, that's all. Now I'm looking for some face. To change the face, click right here. You paste again. Fine, this looks not so bad. All right, now you select the accessories, the clothing, and the body cut. Now insert it in the rescue cosmetic folder. And yes, you can delete the dummy now, you can. And the last step is to change the name of your rescue. So, custom rescue. Alright guys, I'm done with this video. Thank you so much for watching. So, in the next video of this series, I'm going to talk about the lightning and how to upload and test your map. Uh, what? I said upload. No, it's submit, not upload. What the fuck? And thank you so much guys for 2k subscribers. Okay, no, I lied because right now I didn't hit 2000 subscribers, but I'm very, very, very close. So I thank you in advance. Now guys, ciao. My voice is broken.